Hi guys, my name is Sarvansh and thank you for watching my the other video and uh, today's video is about to software update icons. So if you seen it in SSEM console under the software update, so there are multiple types of icon is showing uh, on the patch side. So patch is having the uh, own icon uh, which is representing something meaning like a superseded or expired or the other thing. So let's see how many types are icon we available they are on the software update so let's see here so this is the icon uh, it's called like a green arrow or represent the pay patch is in active so if you seen this type of icon that means is this patch is active and it's available to deploy and here is a not always deploy only the active patch in production so this these types of patches you can deploy in the production and these this is the patch uh, this is like a uh, yellow yellow start icon this is the star yellow star icon represent as a superseded patches so these patches like uh, represented these patches are superseded so if the patches are superseded then uh, that means is um, instead of this patch there is a new patch released replaced by some other patches so these patches even uh, you can deploy these patches uh, it will install but uh, the microsoft will recommend it not to deploy the any superseded patches deploy only the active patches now here is a uh, another icon this icon is a blue arrow icon represent as a metadata so if you seen this type of patches if uh, some patches are having this kind of uh, icon blue arrow that uh, these types of patches you cannot deploy it so you can deploy or download these patches these patches update available only for the uh, reporting purpose so these type if uh, these patches if you see in it in your SSEM or the WSS that you cannot download or you cannot deploy it. these types of patches it just for only for the reporting purpose okay so let's see the another thing these types is, is like a red cross icon represent that a update is invalid so if it uh, this i if you got it this type of icon that means is these update are not valid why it is showing such kind of icon uh, if the source file is missed or delete from and the ongoing deployment so if you have any the ongoing deployment in your uh, in your uh, SSEM and uh, the somehow the source file got deleted then a uh, patch will shows with this uh, red grass uh, red X arrow so these patches is uh, like invalid patches and these patches will not deploy it because the source file is not available let's see the another okay so these patches are like a black x icon uh, black x icon so if you seen such kind of patches that means is these type of patches got expired so you cannot deploy it, um you cannot deploy the expire patches in a production so guys these types of uh, icon was uh, there in ssem console uh, let me go to ssem console and uh, show you the something else here so i am in a ssem console under software library and all software update so here you can see in this icon what i was presenting to you this is a uh, icon by uh, this green arrow or oh, that means is uh, you can uh, plan for deployment these types if it is showing under the required column if it is not showing in the required then you cannot deploy these patches and uh, other types is i can say okay I can see in it here these types of patches uh, like a uh, this is uh, black x arrow these patches are expired in SSEM okay so these patches you cannot deploy in a production so you can plan only for the active patches and uh, now okay let me show you something else hope you understand uh, by the icon why this icon is showing is in a green uh, and uh, this uh, black x and the orange star okay so let me show you something else here is uh, what is showing it's a required 
installed not required percentage download and this so required installed not required and the missing okay so uh, let me explain you what is the meaning of these so if uh, the patches are showing in a required mode that means is if here is showing some count let me go here shortlist it and uh, let me go here i can check it so if the patches are showing in uh, this year in a required that means is this patches is required for Two machines so that is the meaning for this these patches uh, are required for two machines as I am in a lab and uh, there is a uh, no so many machines are there there is very few machines are there so that's why it's showing only the two and here is a installed so these patches are not installed till now for any of the machine if you seen it here it's showing the three so that means is this particular patch is already installed in three machines and uh, that third is not required if uh, this patches are not required in any of the machine in your infra or uh, that's why it's showing the zero and uh, here it's showing the three count so this particular patch is not required for the three machines and uh, the other thing is this patch is not required for two machine and it not required for the two machine so if that machine is uh, not needed this particular patch then it will be uh, uh, count as a not required patches and uh, here should be one more column let me go and uh, edit that that is a unknown machine so why the machine are showing in unknown status uh, the reason is when your the software scan is not working or there is any issue and machine is not understanding whether this patch is required or not or it is uh, uh, or it is installed so basically we have the three status uh, required installed and not required so if that uh, if some machine are not falling in any of the category then it will go to the unknown machine so unknown in the sense where the SSEM is not able to decide or client is not decided whether this patch is required install or not required then it move it to the unknown status after resolving the issue might be there is a, some issue on the client side or there are the status matches not submitted to SSEM or there could be the any other reason so if a client is having any of the reason then it will move it to the unknown status and once the issue is resolved suppose it's uh, there was uh, some issue and it got resolved then that machine will move it to any of the three statement like a required installed on or not required status so that was the meaning of uh, the icons and uh, the status here and here uh, we can see in the percentage compliance percentage so how the compliance percentage is calculating in SSEM console so let's see uh, I have the four machines so uh, if you can see in the total count is not required and required and all these four status count is four so I have in my lab is the four uh, my the testing machines and out of four two is required and uh, uh, two is not required so not required and install will club together as a compliance because if the patch is not required any of the machine uh, that also will be calculated as a compliance uh, so out of four if if you added these installed and the not required so out of four two is uh, like compliance so that's why it's showing the 50 percent compliance if you can see it here the 75 percent compliance that is a simple meaning like a not required patches are three and the install is zero so three uh, zero plus three equal to three and uh, out of four three is like a uh, compliance and out of four so that's why it's showing the 75 percent and if you go here out of four machine this patch is not required any of the machine so without getting installed or um, like it's uh, not at all required in out of four machine and uh, then it will not install the patch so clubbing this uh, installed and not required is zero plus four equal to four so out of four four is like compliance so that's why it's showing here hundred percent compliance and if you deployed any of the patches so you can go and uh, check it here like whether the patch is download already or not whether it deployed or not so these patches I deployed in my lab 
for these two patches that's why it's showing it this patch was downloaded earlier and this patch was deployed so uh, you can check that and the another thing if you have any expired patches so you can just right click here and uh, selected expired uh, or the superseded and later on you can click it here to filter out so here if you can see in it like this patches are is expired this patch is expired this patch is expired or uh, even you can see in it by the icon as well which patches got expired and if you need the details or uh, the superseded you can click on superseded and can check it here which patches are superseded so these patches are superseded then it will show the icon but here is the uh, one more condition if your patches are superseded and it expired also so then superseded icon will not be available uh, then icon will show for expired patches so guys this is was the definition about the icons and how we can understand whether which patches are in a active mode or not and what is the meaning of the icon so that is the thing and uh, you have understand what is the meaning of required install and not required so thank you guys for watching this video see you soon in my next video i will be showing like a how to deploy patches in my next video so thank you